set of exercises in this video tutorial will demonstrate the use of the multiple sequence viewer to align, compare and examine the sequences for a small set of homologous proteins. Specifically, we'll use three HDAC proteins. So let's start by importing a single chain from each of the three proteins. Just go to File, Get PDB, we'll enter 3 max and type B for the chain name. Then we'll click Download. Next, we'll repeat the process, but download 1T64, and also grab chain B. And then again for 1C3R, also choosing chain B. Okay, now all three proteins are in the workspace. So let's choose Tools, Multiple Sequence Viewer. Here you can see the sequences for all three proteins. Notice that they are colored by residue type and each sequence is annotated with a secondary structure assignment labeled SSA on the left. Also note that all sequences start at the left and have no gaps. Now if you prefer to see the sequences wrapped, just click the Wrap Sequences Toolbar button. I'll leave it unwrapped for now. Next, we'll align the three sequences using 3max as the query. So let's right click on 3max underscore b and choose set as query sequence. You can confirm it's the query by looking down here in the status bar. Okay, let's shift click on the last sequence to highlight all three of them. And then now we can click the multiple alignment toolbar button to perform an alignment of the selected sequences. When the alignment finishes, which is pretty quick, you can see that there are now gaps in the displayed sequences. Now it's a little easier to compare the sequences if the annotations are hidden or removed. Now we can do that either using the Turner tree to hide them like so, or we can go to annotations and then either uncheck secondary structure assignment, or if you have many annotations, just click clear annotations. If we move the pointer slowly over one of the gaps, you can see the tooltip information for each residue. The position in the sequence viewer is given first, followed by the three letter residue name and number. Now the residues have not been changed, only the position in the viewer. Now let's click the color matching residues only toolbar button. This tool will make it easy to identify the residues that match the query. So notice the coloring of the second and third sequences has changed so that only the residues that match the query sequence are colored while the rest are given a white background. Now let's click the weight colors by alignment quality toolbar button. This tool makes it easy to identify the positions that have the most matches. So notice the intensity of the coloring change to reflect the fraction of matching residues at each residue position. For example, where all three sequences have the same residue, the color intensity is at its maximum. Where only two residues match at a position, the color is medium, and an even lighter color for query residues that don't have any matches. Now the multiple sequence viewer has a number of useful annotations that can be displayed below the sequence. We've already seen the secondary structure annotation, which was shown by default, so let's show a couple more examples. Let's choose Annotations, Ligand Contacts. Here the structure is analyzed to find the contacts of the ligand within the protein. The ligand is represented by a row with positions marked in red where there are close contacts, less than four angstroms between heavy atoms, and in orange for other contacts, less than six angstroms, and residues beyond six angstroms from the ligand are shown in gray. Another useful annotation is to show B-factors. So let's choose Annotations, B-factor. Now the B-factor, or temperature factor, is shown as a bar chart below the sequence. Now if we wanted to grab more homologs, we can always run a blast search. So let's do that here by right-clicking on the query and choosing Find Homologs, Blast. If you have a local copy of Blast, then choose Local. Otherwise, you can choose Remote to use the NCBI server. I'll filter by genome and choose human. Then we can click start job and then continue. When the search is complete, we can choose the homologs to incorporate as well as have the option to download their PDB structures. Now we've just scratched the surface of the multiple sequence viewer. It contains many more features, including features for manual alignment, editing sequences, selection of residues, homology modeling, and prediction of structural features. So for more information and details on any of those features, we recommend that you read the multiple sequence viewer document. Just go back to Bioluminate's help menu and choose manual index, then multiple sequence viewer.